INFJs, often considered the rarest of the personality types, possess a unique and complex inner world. Their depth of emotions, coupled with a tendency to prioritize meaningful connections and a penchant for introspection, can make them challenging for others to fully comprehend. INFJs might not always express their thoughts and feelings overtly, relying instead on subtle cues and unspoken nuances. Their ability to empathize deeply with others and their intricate thought processes contribute to an intricate puzzle that can be challenging for those outside their inner circle to decipher. As they navigate their multidimensional landscape, INFJs may seem elusive, leaving those seeking to understand them with the task of unraveling the layers of their intricate personality. So, in effort to do them justice, here are some facts and insights of their inner workings. And provide typical things non-INFJs should know about INFJs. Raw Honesty When it comes to compliments, don't expect INFJs to be doling out praise like candy on Halloween. They're the raw honesty champions of the group and their opinions are served straight from the unfiltered truth tap, no sugarcoating allowed. Picture them as the fearless knights of candor, slashing through the forest of pleasantries with a sword made of unvarnished reality. It's not rudeness, it's just that their truth comes dressed in a bold costume. Think of it as the superhero cape of honesty fluttering in the wind. When others might tiptoe around feelings, they march in with a parade of unapologetic realness. It's not about being mean-spirited, it's about valuing authenticity over empty niceties. They view compliments like a fine dish. It's best served without unnecessary additives. You won't find artificial sweeteners in their feedback menu. If you want to know how that new haircut truly looks or if that idea is as brilliant as you think, ask them. But be prepared. The response might come with a side of truth so sharp it could cut glass. But only if you ask for it. Otherwise, they will leave you in your delusion. Meet the complexity and contradictions maestro, the individual who can be as unpredictable as a weather forecast in April. Even if you're two peas in a pod, don't be surprised if, at times, INFJs need their own shell to recharge. Think of it as a pit stop for the soul. Everyone needs a breather from being peas sometimes. Imagine being on a road trip with them. The journey is fantastic until, suddenly, they announce, I need a pit stop for my soul. Don't panic. It's not a detour to avoid you. It's a detour for self-reflection, recharging, and recalibrating the internal GPS. Think of it as a pause button in the playlist of companionship. They're not hitting stop. They're just taking a moment to appreciate the individual notes before diving back into the duet. It's not about being distant. It's about maintaining the rhythm of the relationship. High self-worth. Rulers of their own domain with a crown made of self-respect and a scepter forged from confidence. INFJs aren't on a quest for applause. All they demand is basic respect. It's not a VIP ticket they're waving. It's just a reminder of common courtesy. Imagine a grand hall with a throne, and there sits the high self-worth royalty, not expecting a standing ovation but certainly deserving of acknowledgement. Their crown shines with self-assuredness and their regal aura demands nothing less than the respect every individual deserves. But don't mistake their confidence for arrogance. It's merely a reflection of the self-worth they've cultivated. They don't need a red carpet laid out for them wherever they go. A simple acknowledgement of their presence is enough. After all, respect is the universal language spoken by those who understand the value of self-worth. Strong desire to fix things. The INFJ is the individual who rolls up their sleeves when conflict is brewing, ready to renovate the situation into a more harmonious state. If there's a clash, they're on the struggle bus, trying to make things work. However, when they go silent, that's when you should cue the alarm bells. Silence is their version of an emergency broadcast system. Conflict isn't their nemesis. It's more like a challenging puzzle waiting to be solved. When others might shy away from the battlefield of disagreement, they march in, ready to negotiate, compromise, and find common ground. It's like watching a maestro conduct a symphony of resolution. Desire for meaningful connections. The INFJ is also the maestro of relationships, orchestrating a symphony of genuine bonds in a world often drowned in superficial chatter. For them, it's all about that quality vibe. 
Heart to hearts and nature walks take precedence over the chaotic hustle of everyday life. They're the connoisseurs of meaningful connections, skipping the small talk for a feast of real conversations. Imagine strolling into the world of this enthusiast, where every interaction is an opportunity to delve into the depths of human experience. It's not that INFJs dislike the hustle, it's just that amidst the noise, they're searching for the sweet melody of a connection that resonates on a soulful level. Think of them as the sommeliers of relationships, uncorking the finest conversations and savoring the rich flavors of authentic connection. While others may engage in the quick sips of small talk, they prefer to indulge in the full-bodied taste of substantial discussions. Heart-to-hearts are their preferred currency, and they're not afraid to invest time and energy into cultivating connections that stand the test of depth and sincerity. Nature walks become the backdrop for unraveling layers of shared experiences, fostering a bond that goes beyond the surface. Sensitive to injustices, picture the INFJ as the vigilant guardian of fairness who, when faced with the hurling of metaphorical stones, doesn't retaliate but instead starts tallying each throw. It's not about seeking revenge, it's about keeping score for the cosmic justice ledger or harboring a grudge. No, they see themselves as the cosmic accountant, ensuring that every act, whether benevolent or malevolent, is accounted for in the grand balance of universal justice. Think of them as the impartial referee in the game of life, ready to blow the whistle when fairness is at stake. Throwing stones may be an attempt to disrupt their equilibrium, but in response, they simply raise an eyebrow and begin marking down the transgressions. It's not a declaration of war. It's a commitment to justice. They believe in the idea that every action has consequences, and these consequences will be duly recorded in the cosmic ledger. Distaste for assumptions. Imagine a scenario where assumptions are the culprits, sneaking around like shadowy figures in a detective film. Here comes the assumption antagonist, armed with the bright spotlight of direct communication and a shield of clarity. They don't believe in leaving room for interpretation, they prefer the straight talk express. Because for INFJs, conversations aren't cryptic puzzles to be deciphered, they're straightforward exchanges of information. If you're curious, just ask. It's like having a human search engine ready to provide the most accurate and up-to-date information on any topic. No need for speculation. Why? Assume someone's thoughts, feelings, or intentions when you can have a candid conversation and get the real story. They're the ones with the neon sign saying, ask me anything, and a disclaimer in small print. Assumptions may lead to confusion. It's not that they're against a good mystery. They just believe that interpersonal relationships are better served with open communication. They'll be the first to tell you that assuming things is like navigating a maze blindfolded. It might seem adventurous, but you're likely to bump into walls. Empathetic nature. If you didn't know the INFJ is like the human version of an emotional antenna, equipped with the uncanny ability to pick up on feelings from across distances, screens, or any other signals. Your emotions? For them, it's like tuning into a frequency, receiving the vibes loud and clear. It's not a superpower, but it might as well be. Picture them as emotional radar, detecting even the subtlest shifts in the emotional weather, while others may need explicit signals. This sympathetic being has an intuitive sense that transcends the boundaries of space and technology. This sympathetic prowess isn't about invasion neither. It's about connection. When you're down, they sense it. When you're elated, they celebrate with you. It's not just about hearing the words you say. It's about understanding the unspoken language of emotions. Imposter syndrome. Meet the imposter syndrome whisperer the empathetic navigator of self-doubt, translating the persistent whispers of inadequacy into affirmations of accomplishment. At their core, there's this nagging voice that whispers, not quite there yet, are you? It's not self-doubt, it's just the inner critique on a perpetual coffee break. At the core of their being, there's a subtle murmur suggesting that they might not have reached the pinnacle of success. However, it's not a declaration of inadequacy. It's more like the inner critic sipping coffee, temporarily forgetting its job description. Think of them as the gentle voice that reassures you're on your way. Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither are you. 
The imposter syndrome whisperer doesn't silence the doubts, instead, they add annotations of achievement to the margins. While others might succumb to the imposter syndrome's persistent whispers, this whisperer transforms doubt into motivation for the INFJ. They're like the motivational coach of the mind, reminding that the journey is as important as the destination and in that, yes, they are, indeed, on the right track.